Hi everyone, this is just a quick pupil guide to help you to understand how to use the assignments function in Microsoft Teams. So when you're in your Glow, this is what your desktop should look like. You would click on your normal Microsoft Teams and it would take you to the page. It will ask you to sign in using your, your Glow details again. That should open and look like this. If there has been any changes or anything that your teachers have said to you, you will see this in the activity box or at the at teams box you'll also see any differences that have been made or any assignments that have been set by this little red dot here so all your information as to what ha has happened in your team since you've been away will be on the left hand side of your screen what we're going to do today is we're going to look for assignments so you can either go to your activity and check that you can go to your team section and you can look at your teams that way and you can see here that there is differences being made or you can go to your assignments tab class test and there's an assignment that's due for tomorrow you'll also be able to see any assignments that you've previously completed for this class above below here so if we click on that you're going to be able to find out all of the different information that you will need in order to complete this assignment so you've got your name when it's due your instructions you've also got this thing called a rubric so your teacher might include um, sort of success criteria or differentiated success criteria to tell you what makes an excellent piece and what makes a not so good piece. So here's a half finished example. So there might be um, lots of adjectives, lots of sophisticated word choice and a piece of imaginative writing, um, whereas a good piece might just have some adjectives. So here you can check to see whether your teacher has differentiated between anything that shows you what makes an excellent piece or it might just be some people will be able to do this and some people might choose not to. So it gives you a really good idea of what your teacher's looking for. Okay, what they'll also have put in there is some reference materials for you. So this might be a PowerPoint presentation, this might be um, a document, this might even just be a link. If you click on this, this is the piece of information that they have left for you. So if you open that up in your desktop app, it will open in Microsoft Word. The immersive reader function is absolutely excellent and I'm just going to go over this really quickly with you. So immersive reader, if you click on this little AA button up here, will help you to change your text preferences. Now, if you find that you find it easier to read in bigger writing, you can change the writing. Of the document that they've given you you can increase the spacing change the font and um, you if you've got um if you want to change the it's kind of like an overlay if you struggle with uh, reading or you have dyslexia sometimes an overlay will help with that in this box in here the box here is your grammar option so it might be that your teachers maybe ask you to help uh, to identify the nouns this actually does this for you now it's not a cheat it just helps you to identify um where these pieces of speech are and help with your comprehension so you can change the color so you want your nouns to be in in blue and you want your adjectives to be in a sort of mustardy color and it will will pick out those for you you've also got syllables it will show you the different syllables Phrases will also help you to think of phrases as chunks of meaning um, and it will add a different phrase to change the meaning of the sentence. You can also go into your reading preferences and change your line focus. Or you can go to your picture dictionary as well. So if you click on a word and you're not sure what it means, click on media. You can media. listen to what that word says. Sometimes it will come up with a picture dictionary here. Language. It will read it to you and it will also give you a picture to help you to understand what that means. Translate tool. So as you can see, I've got the translate tool on for French. If I want to click on this word, language features has been translated into French linguistic. for me. You could also change the entire document into French which really helps pupils with modern languages.
So when you have opened your document in the desktop app, this is what it should look like. Sometimes your teacher will ask you to attach a separate document, but in this case, your teacher has asked you to edit the same document. So if you have a look at the top corner and left hand corner, there's a little save button with some arrows on it, which shows you that it's working um, through your OneDrive and will automatically save to, even if you don't save it, it will auto save to your Teams. So even if something happened and you'd done lots of work, it would still save uh, to your Teams for your teacher. So let's just do a test here. You click hello and we want to maybe make the font in red. And we save that and go back to your class. That's exactly what it's going to look like for your teacher as well. If I click that, I'll be able to see what I've written. Or you may wish to add separate work. So if you add work there, you can add something that you've either already created and is already saved to your OneDrive. You can create a new file. Now, if, if you don't have the option to download Word or PowerPoint or any of the Office 365 tools to your desktop, you can actually just open the Word document here and it will allow you to create an online Word document. And finally, you can upload from this device. So if you've got a piece, something saved on your computer or your phone, you can upload that there as your piece of work. Okay. Then you want to click hand in. You'll get a little celebratory image. They change every time. How exciting. And if you go back and you go to your assignments tab again, you will notice that that has changed. If you go into your completed assessments, that's there. Your work would appear there if you'd handed it in, or you can click back into this and here it will appear. Now, what you can also do is if you think of something later on or you want to go back and edit it again, you can actually click undo hand in. Now, even if you click undo hand in, it will sh still show that you have handed something in on the date. So you it won't count you as uh, you know being late, but you can undo the hand in, edit your piece of work again and hand it back in again. And your teacher will see that you've already handed that in before, but you've just edited your work to do something more. We hope you find that helpful. It might be the case that your teacher um, uses, uses Microsoft Forms um, and for quizzes and things like that. But again, they just come up as a link. Uh, and we really hope that you find this easy enough to use. If you've got any queries or questions, just get in touch with your teacher. And if they can't give you the answer, they can get in touch with us and, they will, and we'll be able to help them with that. Happy learning.